the trout have been biting pretty good, and most of them have actually moved back with the manhane. Up. Everything was working. The redfish were biting really well for us, um, not just in the shallow backwater, but out onto some of the you know bigger, more open water structure, eight, nine foot of water. Well, we've been mainly staying on the redfish. Uh, they're still in the shallow areas for us. Um, we had some pretty active fish, especially on the redfish side. Honestly, starting to see some, you know, better class of fish. Uh, I mean, there's still a lot of spikes mixed in with it. Should start seeing some bonita near shore. You know, first of all, at that five to seven mile range around structure. The name of the game is still redfish. It's our prime time of the year for schooling reds. You know, find them on the ledges, find them on the reefs, uh, mark them on the sonar. They're still, you know, 40. Maybe find some around 40 if you can find some bottom that's not pressured a lot. But to stay on these fish, you just need to follow the bait and then change up your tactics as the weather changes. If it's cold, uh, downsize, go to a smaller jig head, a smaller bait profile. Grass habitat, a few sloughs in there, a lot of fresh water. So you will, you'll catch speckled trout, guys who have some good, good speckled trout catches here this past week on the cold weather. But also bass, crappies white perch, all kinds of stuff mixed in together. This is Billy over at Fisherman's Post, and thank you so much for checking out our highlights reel from this week's fishing report. Wanted to let you know that you can sign up right here at fishermanspost.com slash members. This is a question we get often is, hey, I enjoy the highlights, but how do I sign up to get the whole hour worth of content? And that's how you do it, fishermanspost.com slash members. If you have any questions or trouble logging in or, or access or any of that, just reach out to us, and we will be sure to help you out.